runs to $9.9 billion. China, Kuwait, and South Africa, we owe them 692. And the largest debt is owed to the People's Republic of China, 666 million. Coming clean about exactly how much debt the country is in, part of the new constitutional requirement for transparency in public borrowing. Finance Minister Patrick Chinamasa revealed Thursday that both private and public debt stands at 9.9 billion US dollars. Public and public guaranteed external debt stands at just under 7 billion US dollars. 3.3 billion alone to the Paris Club of some of the world's biggest economies. I have no capacity to pay the arrears. I have no capacity to pay the principal debt. What I want is new money to build capacity, especially to the productive sector, to broaden the revenue base, the tax base, so that the country is the capacity through more inflows into the fiscus to honor its international and domestic obligations. Some of the debt dates back to before independence. Most of it is from the 1980s infrastructural development, including government-guaranteed private sector debt. Zimbabwe has announced new measures to claw its way out of the situation, starting with a central monitoring statutory debt management office. The power to borrow should, be, should reside in a single authority. We should not have a situation where everybody is signing uh, debt instruments all over and we only got to know about them when they are signed. Zimbabwe is under an international monetary fund staff monitoring program that will help it to access debt relief. The program has recommended improved management of debt, reviews of empowerment policy and mining laws, and drastic cuts to the bloated civil service. But Shinamasa says Zimbabwe is still years away from accessing the relief. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.